Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to go through today. Uh, the first of which is that of the STS-48 mission. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard of this mission. You've seen the footage that goes with it. And for those of you who don't know, STS-48 was a space shuttle mission that launched on September 12th of 1991. Now, during this mission, there was a lot of strange and unexplained UFO activity. And specifically, the STS-48 mission is uh, one of the most studied pieces of video footage, specifically because of all the activity that was seen happening. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the video, I will go ahead and play it. And what we're looking at is what looks like an infrared view of the Earth. You see the Earth in the background, we see some objects sitting in the background, there's a flash of light, and then a couple of these objects, not all of them, suddenly change trajectory and jet off in a different direction at a mind-blowing speed. So if you haven't seen it, here's that clip. Now, this has been one of the most highly debated pieces of space footage that we have to date. Uh, NASA, in fact, has actually came out in the past issuing rebuttals about this footage, which is something that they rarely do if you know NASA. I mean, they, they pretty much ignore any footage that comes from, from their spacecraft or anything like that that purports to show UFO activity. Um, they rarely come out and defend it or try to debunk it. And so when they did, it really gave all of us cause to think that they are definitely trying to hide something within this footage. Now, some have said that these objects that jet off are simply particles out in space that are reacting to a jet on the spacecraft. Uh, hence, they are blown out into space. However, nearly all of the actual particles in this footage do nothing when this supposed jet occurs. It's only a few select objects that actually change direction and speed off. And furthermore, in my opinion, and what is the basis for today's video, this is not the best UFO sighting that comes from the STS-48 mission footage, because we have in fact found other objects in this video moving past Earth that are without a doubt craft of some kind. And in one case, uh, we actually get a pretty detailed look at what appears to be a triangular shaped TR-3B style object that comes into frame and moves past the Earth. And it happens shortly after these two objects that you just saw jet out into space. So here's the footage here, and we want you to keep your eye on the lower left corner of the screen and watch this triangular shaped craft move into the frame, and just as it does, the camera begins panning away. So, does this object look familiar? Well, it should, because we have seen so many of these triangular shaped objects over Earth and know for a fact that they have been back engineered down on the surface of Earth that at this point I'm surprised that this object has rarely been spoken about. I guess it's because everyone's attention has been towards these objects that we showed you at the beginning of the video, but in my opinion this is much more interesting. So let's just go ahead and, and play this back for you. Now, when the object first enters the frame, it's doing it on its own. The camera is not moving, it's sitting still, and we see this object enter the frame on its own volition. Then, just as it enters, we begin seeing the camera pan. And I will go ahead and loop this over a few times, giving you a closer look at this amazing triangular-shaped object.
Now, these triangular shaped craft are not the only thing that we've captured in this footage, uh, or in space for that matter in other pieces of video. We've also captured within the STS footage a saucer shaped object moving in the distance, and we'll go ahead and show you that here. And just as in other pieces of footage, as this object appears, the camera is cut away and the signal is lost, which actually did happen during the STS-48 mission. So then the camera feed comes back and NASA has cut away to a different area of space, I'm guessing in hopes that no more UFO activity would occur while they were recording. Uh, however, it does happen again and we do see more objects as you're seeing in this clip here. And again, we have more objects changing speed, trajectory, and direction. And this mission isn't the only mission that this has happened. How many pieces of video have we shown you guys of these objects that are operating under an intelligent control up in space? I mean, there's a highway of activity going on up there. Here's some more footage from another STS mission. I mean, I've got a list of footage I can show you guys uh, showing all of the activity happening up there. I mean, it's mind boggling. One of my personal favorite clips that NASA has been unable to debunk comes from the STS-114 mission, which occurred in 2005. And in this piece of video, NASA simply cannot claim that this object is an ice particle, because it's not. So check this out. All right, one of my favorite pieces of footage uh, where we have this view of the Earth. Once again, it looks like this is being recorded in infrared, and we suddenly see this object far in the distance flying into the frame, flies from the right of the screen all the way to the left, and then turns and goes back the opposite direction in the same way with which it came. Now explain that. You're seeing the sped up version here. I mean, look at this. This is under control. This thing is under control. Idle space objects do not move on their own volition like this. So again, uh, we have this new triangular shaped object caught in the STS-48 footage. Let me know what you guys think. I have no doubt we'll be finding more and more objects like this. There's so much footage to go through, so be sure to stick around uh, as we continue the research into those particular mission videos. Now, on to some other news. Uh, if you don't know yet, uh, a space probe was sent out to a comet called Comet 67P. We've done videos on this in the past, very anomalous and strange comet. Uh, but back in 2014, one of the spacecraft that was sent out there was lost. It just disappeared, almost as if it was knocked out by something. And it appears that it was, because they have recently found what is known as the Philae spacecraft down on the comet's surface. Uh, you're seeing an image from that here, where you can actually see the lander's legs poking out of this dark crevice uh, crashed to the surface. The uh, lander went missing back in 2014, as I said, after a 10-year journey to the comet, and they had no idea what happened to it. It almost reminds me of the Phobos incident, uh, where the Russians sent probes out there, and they were also knocked out near Mars, and we never found them again. And we've had other objects out in space knocked out, or at least disappear with uh, no information as to what happened to them. Now, I'm sure many of these are natural. They're space debris, uh, micrometeorites, and these things can knock out the probes that we have up there, although it does rarely happen. I mean, space is a very open and large place, and even the chances of getting hit by other debris are, are pretty slim. So it was strange when this lander went missing back in 2014. 
And so the European Space Agency announced Monday that they had finally located the lander. Unfortunately, the landing uh, didn't go well, and the spacecraft bounced off of the comet flew for about two hours and then the signal was finally lost by the space agency when the primary battery died and it went into hibernation. Now the lander did briefly wake up in 2015 uh, in June and July, but it hasn't been heard from since then and its location had been unknown. So they were beamed back some new imagery and voila, there was the object sticking out of this dark area um, and it's just by chance that they found it. They're saying, and they've always said, that when this lander was heading down to the comet that it bounced off and that is the reason that we lost it. Um, however, from everything we know about past probes, especially that of the Phobos incident, um, we have evidence that there have been other objects out there, other artificial objects out there that have knocked out our probes and our satellites. And so you can take the uh, ESA's word for it, but as I'm looking at this image and this helpless lander that's been knocked down to the surface, I can only wonder if something else happened. Comet 67P, like I said, is a very anomalous comet, and um, you can check back on our past videos to learn more about that. So now in other news, apparently there is a Christian group, or a religious group we'll say, that is now claiming that the world is going to end. That's right, people. Doomsday is, is, is really happening this time. I mean it. it. It really is. No joke. On August 21st of 2017, apparently their, their reasoning for this doomsday prediction is sort of a mix of, of, of different things. Uh, the first of which is this story that's been going out lately. Everyone's kind of been talking about it, about how Vladimir Putin, the leader of Russia, has been building a lot of bunkers lately and it would appear that this is actually true the russian leader has been building a lot more of these reinforced bunkers around moscow and really all over russia some have said that these are being built in anticipation for a coming nuclear war with the west i.e uh, us here in the good old usa but you know what we have bunkers here we are building bunkers and i'm sure there isn't another superpower out there who has not built bunkers at one time or another. So couple that with uh, apparently a certain passage in the book of Revelation where it refers to a woman clothed in the sun with the moon at her feet who will become haunted by a satanic seven-headed dragon who wants to devour her unborn child. Now apparently they've taken this passage and claimed uh, that the woman is actually interpreted as meaning our earth and they believe that the reference to the sun and the moon uh, refer to a planet being engulfed in a total eclipse, and that apparently on the 21st of August next year, there will be an eclipse of the sun that will plunge the earth into eternal darkness and end life as we know it. Now, apparently there is going to be an eclipse next year, uh, the first solar eclipse to hit the United States in almost 40 years, where in which uh, some in North America will witness the total eclipse, while most other people will only witness a partial eclipse, causing certain cities to lose light for a few seconds. But uh, again, uh, I, I just thought that this was uh, comical. Wanted to share it with you guys. I always love to hear what you guys think. Um, of course, I don't believe it. Uh, the world is not going to end, especially not due to another, yet another, misinterpreted passage of scripture or or anything like that. So. I think it's safe to say we'll all be all right. Now, lastly, there's a, this really awesome video out of Brazil uh, that a viewer of mine just shared with me uh, where they set up these people taking a cab ride and it's a, basically an alien visitation prank where in which they create this like actual flying saucer with lights and everything to scale and they actually lift it on a crane over this darkened street this flying saucer appears above them, uh, an actual alien comes out. I mean, I don't want to give away the whole prank. I will let you guys check it out. The link to it is down in the video description, but I mean, this is one of the best pranks I've seen, and it's just hilarious to see the look and the reactions of these people who think that they're about to be abducted. So be sure to check that out. It's really funny, and uh, good job on the people who set it up. 
So again, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to stick around because we may have another video up tonight focusing on some new UFO footage that was sent in. Of course, there's a lot of other things I want to talk about. I cannot possibly fit it all into a 15 or 20 minute video. So be sure to stay tuned. Hit the like button on your way out. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you back in just a bit. Stay safe, guys. Thank you.